Snowbird by Anna Galan, art by Roberta Angaramo. It was snowing hard in New York City. Bebo and Juan were in the park playing in the snow. Let's build a snowman, said Bebo. Yes, said Juan. Bebo made a big snowball, and Juan made a small one. Then he put his small ball on top of the big one. Our snowman needs eyes, said Bebo. Juan dug in the snow and found two small rocks. Here are the eyes, he said. Bebo put the rocks on the snowman's face. Our snowman needs a nose, said Bebo. Juan found a pencil in his pocket and put it right under the eyes of the snowman. Here is the nose, he said. It's all finished, said Bebo. It's the best snowman ever. But Juan wasn't finished. He grabbed some pine branches that were on the ground nearby. Then he put two of them on the back of the snowman. What are you doing? asked Bebo. Here are the wings, said Juan. Now it's a snowbird, said Bebo. Yes, said Juan. Ready for the Beach by Anna Galan, art by Roberta Angaramo. It was a hot day, so Bebo and Juan were going to the beach. Bebo had a towel, a small bag, and a beach umbrella. He waited for his friend at the subway. When Juan arrived, he was carrying a big backpack. Are you ready? asked Bebo. Yes, said Juan. Did you bring a towel? asked Bebo. Oops, no. One moment, said Juan. He flew to his apartment. He came back a few minutes later and said, I have a towel. Did you bring a hat? asked Bebo. Oops. No, one moment, said Juan. He flew to his apartment. He returned a few minutes later. I have a hat. Juan and Bebo hopped on the subway. When they arrived at Coney Island, Bebo put his towel on the sand. Then he opened his umbrella. Let's go in the water, said Juan. Bebo looked in his small bag. Oops, he said. I didn't bring my goggles. I did, said Juan, opening his big backpack. He had two pairs of goggles, one for him and one for Bebo. Let's go. Yes, let's go said Bebo. And they had a wonderful day at the beach. Use Your Imagination by Anna Galan, art by Roberta Angaramo. Bebo Bear and Juan Toucan were walking down the street in New York City. They were looking for pretend animals. I see a giraffe, said Bebo. A giraffe? Where? asked Juan. Use your imagination, Juan, said Bebo. Juan looked and looked, and then he saw a huge construction crane. I see the giraffe, he said with a smile. They continued walking. And when they were about to cross the street, Bebo said, I see a zebra. 
A zebra? Where? Asked Juan. Use your imagination, Juan, said Bebo. Just then, Juan saw the white lines painted on the street. I see the zebra, he said. They arrived at Fifth Avenue with all the big fancy stores. Juan stopped and said, I see a bear. Bebo looked and looked, but he couldn't imagine seeing a bear anywhere. Finally, he saw his reflection in a store window. Now I see the bear. It's me. Yes, said Juan. It's you. Traveling Through the City by Anna Galan, art by Roberta Angaramo. One day, Juan flew to Bebo's apartment and said, Let's go to the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty? How can we get there? Asked Bebo. Let's go on the subway, said Juan. Juan flew to the subway station. Bebo followed him. The subway train was loud, so they got off after two stops. Let's go on the bus, said Juan, hopping on a bus with Bebo behind. When they got off the crowded bus, Juan saw a boat. Let's go by boat, he said, flying to the ferry. Bebo ran after him. The boat took them to the island where the big statue stood. Inside, there were stairs going all the way up to the top. Let's go on the stairs, said Juan. Bebo looked at all those stairs, took a deep breath, and said, Juan, why don't we just stay down here? It's nice and quiet. Yes, said Juan. And so, for the rest of the afternoon, the two friends sat on a bench, enjoying the view. Let's Go Play by Anna Galan, art by Roberta Angarama. Juan Toucan wanted to play with his friend Bebo Bear. He found Bebo sitting on the front stoop of his apartment. Hello, Bebo Bear. Let's go play, said Juan. But Bebo didn't answer. Instead, he kept taking deep breaths while he raised and lowered his paws. Hello, repeated Juan. Bebo opened one eye and said, Hello, Juan Toucan. Let's go play, said Juan. I can't right now. I'm pretending that I'm a balloon, said Bebo. Why? asked Juan. It helps me relax, said Bebo. Do you want to try? Yes, said Juan. He sat on the steps and took three long, slow breaths. Then he began raising and lowering his wings. After a few minutes, Bebo stood and said, Okay, Juan, let's go play. But Juan didn't answer. Let's go play, repeated Bebo. Juan Toucan opened one eye and started flying up as if he were a balloon. Yes, let's go, he said. A Day in Central Park by Anna Galan, 
Art by Roberta Angarama. Bebo Bear was relaxing on the front stoop of his apartment when Juan Toucan flew up to greet him. Bebo, let's go to the park, said Juan. Yes, I love the park, said Bebo. Bebo walked and Juan flew down the street. When they arrived at Central Park, Juan saw the lake. Bebo, let's go to the lake, said Juan. Wait for me, said Bebo, who couldn't run as fast as Juan could fly. When Juan reached the lake, he jumped into a rowboat and said, Bebo, let's row. I'm coming, called Bebo. They rowed all around the lake. When they brought the boat back to the dock, Juan saw a big playground. Bebo, let's go to the slide, said Juan as he flew to the slide. But Bebo was tired. It was hard keeping up with his friend. Just then, Bebo saw a big lawn in the distance. That gave him an idea. We've been playing all afternoon, Juan, said Bebo. How about taking a nap? Yes, said Juan. So the two friends settled down in the shade of a tree for their nap. <laughs>